but also here in Wilmington back in 1986, Randy Huckabout is another LGBT person that was murdered and was the victim of a hate crime. Randy's sister, Patricia Rangatis, is here this evening. I'm not sure if Patricia wanted to say a word. Yeah. Um, but but thank you all again for, for coming out. Oh, she's gonna come. She's coming. Wonderful. Thank you guys for, for coming out tonight and being a part of this. And I'm going to pass the, the microphone over to Patricia here. Good evening. I'm sorry I was late. We were trying to get here before then. Um, it's funny because I knew Chalana. And um, it's bad enough to have a victim of your brother, but then such a bright young lady she was and talented. Um, my mother-in-law actually had the Parkview Grill and owned it from the beginning. And um, some girls wanted to rent it. And I went down to notarize the lease. I said, Mom, you made a good choice of girls. <laughs> she had no clue that it was going to become a gay girl. She loved those girls. And my husband and I, we got to know them very well. And I remember that day, Heidi didn't come to work, and she came after lunch, and she was crying. And I said, what in the world has happened? And she said, Tawana went off to this truck driver, and we were supposed to go to breakfast, and we can't find her. And my heart sunk. I said, girl, you go until you find her. And then we got the news a couple of hours later. So it was heartbreaking to know her, but thank God Wanda and Heidi listened to that truck driver. They got his business down to a T, and he was found that day. Where it's still been over 30 years for Randy, I still keep digging and trying and um, staying with the detectives and staying on different things. And I believe one day we're gonna find out what happened. But until then, we still have to stand together, all of us. And we have to take care of one another because if we don't, nobody else will. And I'm so grateful that I have a husband that is understanding and gives me the freedom to do what I do uh, mainly for Randy. Um, Randy and I were only 15 months apart. We were very close. And when I lost him, I lost a part of my life, which I know one day I'm going to re reunite it with them and we'll have a lot of catching up to do. But I know he's seeing everything down here. And who knows? He might be up there with Talani, you know, telling what they might be doing. <laughs> but, you know, they, they'll be happy. But, um, but thank y'all so much for standing for Talana because she deserved it greatly for people to embrace her and love her. And I'm so glad I met Ryan here a couple of years ago. Uh, he came out to the 28th anniversary of Randy. And we finally gave him a memorial after 28 years. We felt like it was time to do something. And his daughter wanted to be here tonight, but she works in Chesapeake, Virginia. And she didn't make it. We were still hoping we were going to catch her before we got down here. But y'all just keep up the great work and standing together and love one another. Because without love, we have nothing. Thank you. Thank you.